I've never incubated eggs before. My wife decided to order an ink, this seven egg incubator on Amazon. And after we got it, uh, we noticed that there weren't um, very many reviews. Actually, I don't think there were any at the time. All right, so it <clears throat> uh, comes with some instructions. what uh so it looks like so far comes with a power cord that. i'll tell you right now it feels like a dollar store incubator and uh i know my wife i think she spent 32 ish dollars on this this is what we've got so far it says it does seven eggs i'm gonna plug it in here in a second I'm gonna try and do this whole video uh, beginning to end. I'm hoping that we can start with taking it out of the box and this video will end hopefully with chicks. Instead of showing you this and doing a review without actually kind of showing the process. So these instructions are uh, very poorly worded, like a bad translation. But we're gonna do our best here. This is showing you kind of what's in the box. And then here's some incubation tips, which are the thing. And this I'm assuming down here is how to candle them, which I've never done before. I'm gonna plug this in, Let's see what happens. Okay, it started to make a weird, like you can hear the fan going. So it looks like it's heating up. Oh, this is Celsius, which means I'm going to have to Google a converter. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter because these instructions I'm thinking are going to say what it needs to be at. Okay. I don't know. All right. All right, so once this heats up, I'm assuming you gotta put some water. You gotta put some water in this reservoir. This thermometer temperature dealio is supposed to be up like that, which means you've got to put it in between a couple of the things like that, just so that it's accurate temperature. See if we can get some fertilized eggs in here and then we'll kind of do a step-by-step -step, uh, throughout the process. So actually, why do they include these if you need more than this? So I'm just gonna follow these and not do a whole lot extra. And hopefully we get some live chicks. It'd be really sad if she went through the entire process with her special needs students and either nothing hatched or they like started to hatch or they were like partially developed. That'd probably be a pretty unpleasant experience for those students. Might, might backfire quite a bit. So anyway, we're gonna do a trial run here uh, at my house. See if we can get them to work. All right, so I was able to get my hands on some fertilized eggs. What I've done is I've plugged this in, put the lid on and making sure that it heats up the way it's supposed to heat up. And it looks like it's heating up really well. There is water in there still. These eggs need to go pointy side down, right? And these are unwashed eggs. So we just put these, see that one? It's kind of even hard to tell whether that's a I think this is the, I think that's the pointy side. I mean, I'm gonna put this big one. See, look, that one. Which side's the pointy side on that? I think it's this one over here too. So I'll put that one in the middle because this is a tight fit for these. Man, I don't know about that one either. I think it's that one. I don't know. Okay, put those in. Make sure this fits on there, all right. 
to 33. Okay, yeah, it's climbing up. So we'll candle these in about a week. They should look like they have the veins and stuff coming through them if they're fertilized and we're doing everything right, I think. So I guess we'll try that. See you in a week. But wait, before you turn that off, let me get one out. Let's start with this one now. Okay, I got it. Okay, it's fine. Is that one of the speckled ones? Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, I don't see anything at all on that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything in this one either, do you? Mm -hmm. But you can see that one. I think I just that's just like a, a yolk. yolk in there. Ready? This one has stuff. Can you see that? So yeah, you can see all those veins and mm -hmm. stuff through there. I think those other two, we could probably, I don't know that we need to try keeping those at all, do you? Probably not. Oh yeah, I'm not seeing any, same mm -hmm. thing, just mm -hmm. the yolk, right? Yeah. Okay. That's right, it's so bright. Can you see that? You can see it really well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can see the little eye like they talked about. Right there? It's down here. I just knocked one out. See it? Right there? Nope. Mm -hmm. Bring it a little more. Oh, yeah. Two left? Mm hmm. This one looks like it's got really dense cake. Okay. Let me grab it. Can't see. It's got a lot of stuff in it. But it definitely looks like. There's something going on in there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it looks. It's just it seems weird though, cause the that one looks what, more developed, or what, maybe it, that's a smaller egg. What's supposed to? Okay. Okay, this is the last one. Okay. Oh man. What's going on in there? Um, that doesn't look good. Um, that, it might just be a black chicken. <laughs> I don't even have feathers yet. Well, I don't. It's fine. I, We're going to keep... It's like a human embryo. <laughs> it's like a person growing in there. What on earth? That doesn't look right. Well, let's... We'll keep it in there, but something's funky on that. I know they tell us to rotate and tilt the eggs. Mm -hmm. And I think they say you're supposed to do that to prevent them from sticking yeah, to the sides. I think that it and probably wasn't getting tilted happened. enough, maybe. Okay, I've got to take this out because I've got to put butter in. I'm going to put them all on the sides. Seems like then we can actually move them around more. So this is one that they said they haven't been able to get to hatch. The really? speckled one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, crack these three eggs that we decided were not fertilized and we pulled out of the incubator. This is what they should have looked like. Um, day eight here. Uh, and we didn't see anything, so we're just going to crack them and see what's inside. All right, here we go. Let's do this big one first. Yeah, it's just a little runny. So that was unfertilized for sure. Man, these crack really easily. Nothing? This one feels kind of light. Fluffy. Was there something in that? Nope. Okay. What's Are that? you sure? <laughs> I don't know what that did. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Um, what is that? What? Was there something in it? A little bit. Did you just break open a... What's that smell? Did you smell that? Is it smell bad it. for real? Smell no. Bus. Just get in there and smell that. I'm good. See, Bats, just put your no, nose in No, thank you. There. No, thanks. I wonder if they need my fruit snacks first. Okay, we're on day 13, so these eggs today should look like something in between day 10 and day 15.
Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, lift it up a bit. Hmm. That one looks pretty similar. Isn't that the one that was struggling? Not sure if that one's changed. I think it is filling in a little bit more. But I don't know if that's good or bad that it's stuck like that. Let's see, what's that? I don't know, that's that weird one. Hopefully it's just okay. Keep our fingers crossed, but that's weird. Oh, I don't know if it's okay. I'm gonna do the next the other green one next. Okay. Yeah, that's better because oh man there's oh yeah that's good that means that's a good sign let me turn this other side i think it's supposed to so far so good on that one i think wait is this okay Well, see, now this one has that black thing on it. Like, remember we were worried that it was stuck? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's supposed to, so maybe it's supposed to do that. Yeah, this one looks the best, because you can see there's something that's not stuck to the side and moving around in there. Okay, we're on day 19 of 21. We're down to these four eggs. And based on the candling we just did, only the speckled egg is dense enough and looks like the day 19 should look in here, right down here. That's the only one. I took this out and I swapped it out with uh, more of a, a mesh grate so that when the chick hatches, it's not falling into these holes as it's walking around in there. Cause really right now it just looks like there's the one. But as I was swapping this out, uh, I noticed the speckled egg, the one that looks like it's gonna be the most likely to hatch is moving. Uh, so. In fact, right now, it's, it just kind of moves just a little bit back and forth. So, yeah, it just is very subtle, and uh, I, I hope that that's normal. It doesn't say anything in these instructions that it should be moving. Uh, but I, th I think that's okay. I don't, I don't know if because the other three aren't, that necessarily means nothing's happening in there. I just, I'm just noticing only that one. Uh, once we start hearing some cheeping, we'll show all that as it hatches. It's supposed to be a really long process though. So that's the plan from here. Okay, so uh, they've started hatching. We've seen some activity happening with these eggs, actually one egg. Unfortunately, it's just the one. So I have a time lapse of the activity that we've seen uh, with this one egg. So unfortunately, um, this is how it ended up. We didn't get any of the eggs to successfully hatch. Only one even tried. From what I've read, uh, sometimes people will get in there and help. But from everything that I read, 
they're saying that if you help them, they end up having problems later. So we pretty much just let it do its thing as best it could. And it didn't go well. So the one that tried to hatch ended up not making it. Overall, I would say it's not the best incubator. The fact that we could start with seven eggs and only get one even try. I mean, I, I can't really blame the incubator for the chick that died, I don't think. I mean, the temperature was good. Humidity was good. So I can't blame the incubator for that. But it seems like with seven eggs, you'd have better success. So we're going to give it a shot with another incubator. I don't think we've fully given up on hatching our own eggs. But this incubator, I'm not sure we're going to do it again. So anyway, thanks for watching.